This is where we left off last time with the picture frames and a little bit of work done on the clock. And now I think I'm going to model a bookcase here with a couple of books. I don't want to be in the kitchen, but why not, eh? And a little, maybe a little mini microwave uh, oven of some sort, maybe to heat up your coffee or reheat it or something along those lines. So, um, I don't know, let's, let's maybe start with the bookcase here, all right? So I'm gonna to go to another layer uh, to build this and make sure my 3D cursor is there in the center. And let's see, I'll we'll start with the front ortho view. And here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go Shift A and I'll bring it a plane. And I'm going to, let's see. Now, you know what? Let's start with a cube. Okay, bring it up. And I go into edit mode and I'm gonna scale this in the X nice and thin to make the side be the piece of wood on the, on the side. And let's bring it up a little bit higher. Let's switch over to solid. I'll go something like that and select it again. I'm gonna scale this in the X a bit more. And um, we'll scale it in the Y a little bit like that. Okay. I'm gonna bring this out to, I'll try, try that position there, no, maybe a little bit further, like that. And I'm gonna make sure that my origin is at the 3D cursor. Okay, and I'm gonna put on a mirror modifier in the X and just have a look at that. That might be a little wide. I'm gonna scale this in the X a little bit thinner. And I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take this one, Shift D, and rotate Y90, and of course it's still mirrored. Uh, I think I'll scale this in the Z, make it a bit thinner, and bring it down to about there. And then I'm going to take this face X and delete the faces. And in edge selection, I'm going to shift click the edges, make sure clipping is on. I'll bring them in like that. And then I'll come over to this side, take that face, and pull it in here. And I'll get rid of that face. And just take the edge. And just pull it in. Um, but we're going to have to um, take this face and pull it back a bit, like that. Actually, maybe I'll take both faces and scale these in the Y. Do that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, Control L. And I'll use this to make, probably make the shelves. Shift D, I'll copy it up. Shift D. They don't have to be the exact same space. Um, let me just think here, because I'm gonna to wanna to have one up right near the top like that. And if I do that, I think that's going to be too much for, but I'll, I'll do the I'll do the back in the meantime. I'm going to take this piece, uh, Control L. I'm going to Shift D, rotate Z 90. We'll make the backs out of this. And I'll just make it thinner. Scale this in the Y. We'll take this face here and delete it. Grab these edges, pull them in like that. Grab this face. Now let's delete that face like we did before. And uh, we'll bring this in like that. Mm, you know, the more I think about it, let's, let's, uh, Let's grab this face and control L. The more I think about it, the more I think I should put it out on the outside. Now yeah, that piece is in there, right? Eh? No. All right. Take this face and bring it down a bit. 
Let me take the other faces here uh, if I can. Grab this again and this again and this again. Control L. Let's bring them out just so I can, just so I can delete those back faces. Again, control L, pull them in. Oops, what did I do there? Let's pull these back in. That's good enough, like that. Let's, uh, we can, uh, Maybe we'll bring it up from the bottom though. I can actually delete this face and just grab the edges. Did I get them all? I don't know if, I don't think I did. Let's not do that yet. Let's pull it up first. to be wider all right let's save and let's see how she looks let's go ahead and apply that rear put a bevel on it let's try smoothing Nah, I don't really like this smoothing on it let's move this to the first layer yeah pretty small so we'll make it bigger all right, I'm just in object mode. I'm just going to scale it. Set the origin of geometry actually, and I'm going to scale it again. Pull it out from the wall a bit. I just want this door to be able to open. This doesn't have to be centered or anything. Let's see what it would look like through the camera view. Yeah, something like that. And I put some books in there. I just, I'm thinking about whether or not these shelves are, are too big. And uh, I'll just try something. Control L. And I'll see how it would look if I had, say, like that. You know, and that. It may, might not be equal, but I don't want that many. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go back and see. Well, I'll just stick. I'll stick with that. All right, and uh, oh geez. let's go back to that camera if you can get out of that. I want to lose that. Um, I'm gonna build a, a book, really, really simple book. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll select that face. In fact, if I wanted to, I could get rid of this edge. Oh, could I? Oh, well, maybe I can't easily, so I won't bother. Okay, take it back. Shift S, cursor to selected. And I'll build this as a separate object out of a cube, I guess. Let's see, how was it there? Okay, we'll bring it out though. Maybe we'll lengthen it in the Y. And make it narrower in the X. I'm just gonna go for general book shape. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this to another layer. I just find it easier to work on. Okay, yeah, well, that's uh, not quite 
a book shape. That's a little bit better. And we're just going to do this the simple way. Put some edge loops there. You're going to define the, uh, the paper area, the cover. Maybe like that. Just, just like that. All right, so that's my book. Let me see about beveling. Let me see about smoothing. All right. Let me see about not smoothing. I can live with that. And then what we'll do is in the materials, I'm going to find, say, I'll just, just gonna, well, I'll just create a new one. All right, this is gonna be really simple, so I don't even need to go to the new node editor. Uh, I'll use a mixed shader. Oh, yeah, a little bit of glossy, okay. First shader is gonna be diffuse, and I'll make it red. And the second shader is gonna be glossy, and I'll make it red as well, just something like that. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so if I switch over to materials. All right, and then um, let's come in, take that face, this face, and this face. And for that, I would use, let's see, I guess we'll have to make one. All right, we'll try just, just off white diffuse. And, uh, see what that's like. Um, I'm just thinking I'll call this red book. And we'll call this paper. Let's bring that back and see how it would look inside there. point of view okay a little bit shrimpy so let's uh, scale this in the Z maybe a bit too tall now there we go still seems a bit big All right, let's copy that, put another one here, and come to the red book, click the plus, and I'm gonna call this a uh, blue book. I'm not sure I want all these colors, but we'll, 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 but we'll see. Choose that, choose maybe a dark blue. Oh gee, I kinda like that purple anyhow. I'm not gonna litter this thing with books. We'll do one down here, maybe a different size. Let's just scale it globally. All right, now, blue book, how about purple? For this one, hit the plus again. And I'll call this Green Book. We'll give it a try. Let's see if we like uh, the multitude of colors. I'll switch that to a green as well. Not that though. Maybe one laying on its side. Rotate Y90. Okay, that's fine like that. And uh, it's the question of which way. I think we'll go like that. And I'll make that the red one again. Hmm. 
Let's select the bookcase. I'm not sure about this. This might be too thick for my liking. I feel like it is, but we could try it though. And I'm just going to put on that uh, brown that we used before. And let's just do Shift Z and see what that looks like in general. I think those sides are a little bit too thick. I don't mind the books. I think I want to separate this one and this one. Not sure I like that purple. I'm not sure it goes with this scene, but uh, yeah, let's let's just move it a little bit and uh, let's change this to an actual blue color. And let's see. Let's uh, let's move this to another layer just to make it easier. Focusing on that. Okay, so there it is. Eh? So I may have some some issues bringing these in, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna scale in the X. It's because of that stuff. So let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have some touch up to do. So I'll just grab the edges here. I could mirror it all, but I won't, won't be bothered doing that. Okay. And scale in the X. I think that's that's going to be better. Okay, let's move that back. Just want to make sure it's on the ground. It looks like it's on the ground. Uh, we'll do Shift Z. Perhaps I want it a bit further away from the wall as well. Perhaps. Let's have a look from the top. Well, no, it's a decent distance from the wall. Okay. Cool. Um, of course, if I wanted to uh, do, a, do a render of this thing and I want to wait for the whole thing, you can go Control B and box the area you want and then, you know, hit your render. It'll still take a couple minutes based on your render settings. But it'll give you an idea, and it doesn't take as long as the as the full render, of course. So let's just let's just see what this would generally look. It doesn't always look that great, just in isolation. But uh, but we'll see, we'll see what it's like. And then it'll pop to its uh, position after this. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. And then you go Control Alt B, and that gets rid of that. All right. Well, we got another little piece of furniture in there. <laughs> it's not, not looking like a kitchen that much. But now we'll make a microwave. Okay. So I am just going to go to uh, another layer, and I'm going to go Shift C to bring my 3D cursor back there, and I'm going to go Front View, and I am going to bring in another cube, right? Yes. I'm going to bring in another cube, bring it up, focus on that, and we'll go back to solid view, and we'll sort of shape this into, into a microwave, sort of, you know, just a rectangle, basically, like that. All right. I guess that's, that's probably okay. Um, now, what we're going to be doing is, I don't know, Oh, it's too thick. Nah. Making a, a door here and a little panel. So I'm going to put some edge loops in. So imagine my panel goes there. All right, and then my door's here. All right, I'm going to use edge loops to do this. Control R, two edge loops, scale this in the Z. Come up to about there. And then over here, Control R, two edge loops, scale those in the X. I'll try to get roughly a similar thickness here and here. Okay, then I'm going to take this face and uh, I'll just look at this whole thing now. Now I'm thinking I don't think I like it. Scale this in the Z and in the Y, which just brings me back to whatever. Yeah, okay, that's fine. 
All right, I'm gonna take this, I'll look in top view, and then a wireframe, you need to extrude, and I'm gonna pull it back to here. All right, let's look at that in solid view. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the door out of this piece, Shift D, copy that piece, and P, and separate it by selection. I'm gonna select it and do origin of geometry, and I'm gonna pull it out, and I'll make the, make the door out of that. Let's get a general view of this thing. Okay, that looks okay. All right, so I'm gonna go into this, and I'm gonna uh, select it all, and E to extrude, and I'm gonna pull back, and make you know a door not too thick, not too thin. Notice the darkness there, so I'm just gonna select it all, and go Control N to flip my polys. And now I'm to make the door, I'm just going to uh, put uh, edge loops like this, scale in the Z. I'm gonna make the glass, is what I mean. Scale in the X. Okay, so I have that on both sides. So now I'm going to take this face, select that face, shift, select that face, and go Control E, bridge edge loops. Let me select it all and Control N. And I'll even bring up W and remove doubles in case. Uh, it's all looking good. Okay, do origin geometry. Uh, bring this back, but I, I want this to be a little smaller, uh, although I will be putting a bevel on. But let's just go ahead and do this uh, just to be sure. Actually, you could try it in wireframe. Uh, let's scale this in the X a little bit till I see that. Just go like that. Scale it in the Z. Hold Shift. And try that amount. Um, I also want to put a little handle on here. I think I can build it out of out of the. Uh, out of this piece, shift D, scale it in the Z, and scale it in the X. E to extrude, I'll bring it out. And then I'm gonna take this face, I think, and uh, just uh, delete that face. I think I'll delete that face as well. And then I'll take that piece, control L, and then I'm going to hit uh, E to extrude, Alt S, and I'm gonna push in. Nah, maybe do it again. Right there. Select it all in Control N to flip the polys. Not really too worried about, you know, but I suppose I could. Uh, I could isolate this. Uh, that's not what I want. It doesn't really matter. I want wireframe. Yeah, you know, that thing. Is that just one point or is it the other point that's down to? No, just that point. All right, well, in that case, uh, let's just uh, let's just put on snapping and vertex and bring it up to that point. Oh, what's going on here? Myself all confused here. All right, that one. That one's good. What did I do here? See how she looks. It looks fine. Uh, and I'll, you know, I'm gonna put a bevel on that anyhow. I could try and show you what that looks like. I'm sorry about that. Okay, that's what it, that's what it'll look like. It'll be, yeah, and I also want to, well, here let's uh, select that and then this and Control L to put the same modifiers on. I don't quite like it there. Oh, where am I on? There we go. Oh, 
Okay, that'll 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 work out all right for me. Uh, I'm gonna select this and go in, and I'm gonna select this face and this face. Actually, you know what? I'll select all four of the faces. And Shift S cursor selected. That'll put my 3D cursor right in the middle with respect to those faces. Uh, and um, I'm gonna do this as a separate object, and it's just gonna bring in a plane. Rotate X90. Go into that. And uh, we'll look at the front. And uh, I can do this in wireframe, I suppose. And I'm just going to scale it until the edges are like that inside the door. And scale in the Z until they're inside the door. And make a piece of glass out of this. Alright, so I have that there. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to give it some thickness. So I'm just going to go solidify. I'm just going to accept the default. So I've got some thickness on that glass. So I got that, and um, you know, I could be naming these things, but I, I didn't, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, right now, though, I will put on that glass material. All right. And uh, I just wanna do a little bit more work on this. Um, I've got the beginnings of an area I can do a panel on. I'm gonna go Control. I'm going to bring an edge loop and oh, don't affect my bevel too much, that's fine. Um, I don't need it going all the way down. So I'll put one there. And I'll put one there. And I'll take this face. And I'm just going to extrude just a little, little bit in. E, just pull it in just a bit. So there's a bit of an, a small, small indent there. You know, that may, that, that's changed my, my bevel, as you can see. So I'm backtracking out of that. And um, I may try to do it again here and see if I how much of that bevel I lose. I might prefer that. It's a bit more beveled, and I like that. And so I'm just going to put some buttons on here. I'll put something down there, we'll see. So now I will select all that face is selected. Shift S, cursor selected. That's great. I mean, I could take this piece right there, Shift D, um, and just pull it out. And let's scale it. Let's scale in the Z. Scale in the end. Let's make a button out of it. Let's just scale globally. There. Depends which way you want to extrude. That'll affect your. Uh, your bevel. Uh, what I could do is I could delete that face and then select that control in and then I could flip it around, rotate X uh, 180. Now I'd be getting rid of some back faces. Uh, I might be breaking this out and uh, and arraying it. I do like that bevel so I'll go back into it. Yeah, alright let's break it out. Origin of Geometry Oh yes, of course, turn off your snapping. I'll bring that up. Let's just make sure that we're... Okay. I don't need it that thick. Scale in Y. In object mode, I'll just do that. And I'll do control A rotation and scale. Uh, okay, that's all right. And then I'm going to add an array to this. And I probably can't get too many buttons. I'm going to be able to get a couple. In the X2, eh? Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scale it down so I can get three. And then we'll work on this part. Let's look from the front. And we'll do that. And then we'll um, add another array in the Z coming down. Put a bunch, <laughs> like that. and then we'll take this and um, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that and that, and then I'm going to I am going to go into edit mode. I'm going to grab this face, this face, and this face, and Control Plus and Shift D, pull them down like that. And then I am going to take this face and this face, and we're going to delete these faces, that face, and that face, 
X to mean faces, and then I shift alt and click that edge and that edge and go control E, bridge edge loops. This one and this one, control E, bridge edge loops. Okay, so I'm just selecting the edges. Now I can actually delete these edges. I don't need them. Uh, dissolve edges. Okay, and that, I don't know, is that a big enough button or do I want to make a bigger one? Control L, scale this in the Z, I want to do something like that. How's that? Put my buttons down. I'm going to apply that bevel and I'm going to apply this bevel and I'm going to join these, Control J. Now that piece in the glass, I've got the glass on. Um, I think I'm going to join those two. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, apply that bevel. And I think I'll apply the material and I'm going to use the trim. I, I'm, going to just, I'm going to try the, the trim. Am I on the right stuff? Let's uh, see if I can H. Yeah, get rid of the glass for now, select that and go for that white trim. I'm gonna add the trim to this as well. Trim, okay, cool. Um, Alt H, bring, I'm gonna bring back the glass. Okay, let's do a quick Shift Z. Yeah, we got that going, okay. Cool, so now I think I'm going to, um, let's hide this, the main body. Take those two pieces and join them together. It's just debatable if I want this door to be open a little bit or not. I'll try it open. So what I'll do is I'll select, say, um, I'll try this back face. And shift S cursor to select it, and then I'm going to switch over to 3D cursor as my pivot point so I can rotate around it. And I'll bring back the rest. And then with the, you know with this thing selected, I'll try to rotate in the Z. Uh, let's try actually rotating the door. <laughs> as opposed to the rest of the microwave. Ah, I see I didn't do the little dish inside. So I just don't know if I want that. I mean, if otherwise, maybe I don't need to do the dish. So let's get rid of that for a second. And uh, I don't know if I need to do the dish inside. Let's try not doing it. And let's grab that and move to the first layer. Okay. And as I said, I'm thinking about putting it up there. So let's bring it over. Uh, we will get go back to median point. And we'll also origin a geometry. We'll zoom in on that guy. May want to change some of the dimensions a little bit. We'll see. Oh, little legs too would be nice. Let's rotate Z90 minus. Don't worry about that cup there yet. Isn't that a little bit narrow? Now that I think about it, do it that way and just bunch it all up. Let's see. Over in the cabinet, let's look from the front. I'll rest it down without legs for the moment. Yeah, I think I think there's a couple of things. Um, one is that I feel like it's too tall, so I'm going to scale this in the Z, and that changes my buttons a little bit. But I don't mind that. And also, this is going to get changed. So I'm going to hide this, and I am going to open that door a little bit. Select that. Shift S cursor to selected. 
put my 3D cursor there, pivot, Alt H to bring that back, make sure the door is selected, rotate in the Z, pull the door open just a little bit, look from here, and uh, what we'll do is let's try, um, let's try Control B, get a little bit of that area. We'll see how it looks. I forgot to turn on overhead lights. Camera might be a bit dark. Alt-B to get rid of that, to get out of camera view. We're going to take the whole thing and move it to another layer and we're going to give some legs. Alright, so we'll get out of my that. And let's grab the bottom. Mm. Alright, let's grab uh, that outer edge and that edge. Shift S, cursor selected. That'll get it close enough. Shift A, I'm going to bring in a cylinder. Uh, Jesus doesn't have to be, I don't know, 18. Let's scale it down. And zoom in. All right, so what we'll do here is I'm going to delete that face. And I'm going to select it, I'm going to rotate it around, rotate X 180, and put it that way, and I'm going to scale that in like that, and I'll scale the whole thing, Let's scale it in the Z, just to get a sense of what it would be like, like that, yeah, we'll go for something like that, okay, control 7 is the bottom, and I'll position this. And as I look at the bottom, I realize, you know what? It seems, it seems just too long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this piece here and I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna select everything. So I think I got everything selected. And I'm gonna scale this in the Y. That's, that's better. I'm gonna take this piece now, Control Seven. I'm gonna scale that a bit. Okay, if I put on smoothing, I'll get that effect. So let's just throw in uh, an edge loop here and here. And hope that that is good enough. I'm not going to see the bottom of it. I don't think we'll have a problem. All right, so I'm just going to do it by eye. I'm not going to mirror these. Let's push it towards the end a little bit more. This, uh, what, what have I got on it? Okay, nothing, so I'm gonna join these. And, did I get them all? No, I didn't get them all. I'm join them all now. There we go. Okay, let's uh, take it all and move it back and see how she's looking. All right, come on, up on your feet. It's looking too short to me, but that's just that, that view. It's just a small guy. Small little one. Look at the size of the coffee cups compared to that. Okay, well, maybe we got to do something. Maybe it's got to be a little bit bigger. All right, just globally. Um, maybe those coffee cups are too big. There's always that chance. Eight. We could try that and put it in. Yeah, 
Nah, I don't think I need to do that. There we go. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't know about coloring any of the buttons. Uh, let's just try a render and we'll see if we like it. Here it is, a little mini microwave and my bookcase. I went back and I did a couple of small things. Uh, there was a little piece back here, a uh, piece of wood, and I decided I wanted to push it down. I thought it looked better that way. And I made the handle uh, a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little mini microwave, that's for sure. You know what I'm thinking? I kind of want to try this in, in black again. And uh, so let's, let's, I'll go ahead and I'll change that. I'm gonna change this. This is the cushion. I'm gonna go uh, cushion two. And I'm gonna make this dark. Like, you know, something, something like that. And I'll, I'll do another render. I'll just compare and see if it f seems to fit a bit better uh, in the uh, in the overall theme. There's a lot of there's a lot of white. All right, so back in a second. There it is. Well, I don't know. It's hard to hard to tell. I do like it in black. I've just gone ahead and done one more thing. Uh, I've added this trim uh, around the room here and here and here. I didn't do it behind there, it's not visible, and here, uh, right there. And uh, we'll render that in a second. Uh, I'll just show you uh, just quickly how I made that. It's basically the same as, as making the picture frames. All right, so I just went to another layer, made sure my cursor was uh, in the center, and went to the side view. And I did this, added a plane, rotate Y90, uh, and vertex uh, mode I, merge all the points in the center all right and then i just extruded i went eg up like you know something like that eg and came out a bit eg go up a bit eg you know th this kind of thing and then you know tweak the points to you know to the point i would like them and then make sure that my uh that point is pivot point, scale Z zero or SZ zero. Select them all, went in the top view, and then I just uh, extruded like this. Go back into solid view. Select it all and control N. Make sure all the polys are facing the right way. And then, then I just looked at the profile and you know decided if I'd like that. Um, put a bevel on it. You know, and then I just, then I just brought that in and scaled it, you know, to, to fit. All right, so I'm going to come back to uh, to this layer, and uh, I'll do a render, and then we'll see what the trim looks like. And here is the render for that. Uh, you're probably getting sick of seeing the same scene, and you know, there's a lot more things that you could do for this uh, to make it actually approach looking like a kitchen scene. But I think I'm done with this. It's been a, it's been a lot of videos uh, for this series, and I'm anxious to move on to something else. Very basic modeling and very basic materials, but a lot of fun. So thanks a lot for checking it out, and we'll see you again soon.